This is Twit. Burke, oh, Burke, are you ready? It's time for the news. Jeez. Uh, I'm so ready this week <laughs> to tell you that there's no more Android 13 beta in the news. No, are you ready for wow. that? Look at that. He like he took the reverso kind of approach. Instead of spoiling the news, he leveraged it to talk about a fact, <laughs> which is true, uh, because there is no Android 13 beta available. Because guess what? What? Android 13 is out in the wild and wow. it exists. Um, we were wondering. We, we were wondering if it was going to be earlier or if it was going to be normal, like compared we've to been last. Tr- we've been tracking. I remember a few weeks ago, I went through every Android release from 12 back to Android 7 to see when the release dates were to try to figure out when it would be. I feel like this is the first time it's ever been this early. I think uh, it feels Possibly pretty early sure. to me. Pretty early, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it usually like so, September, October? Like exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it was like mo- September mo- was split down the middle. It was like our most guess. of them were like September and October. Yeah. Some were in late August, early September. But here we are, August sixteenth, and Android thirteen is out. Uh, Android twelve came out in October last year. Android eleven, the year before that, was in September. Um, but hey, we're talking about Android thirteen. So what do you get if you're gonna if you're gonna upgrade your phone to Android thirteen? You're gonna get themed icons, right? You're gonna get a wider Material U color styles. You're going to get notification permission becoming an opt-in. You're getting a clipboard editor overlay, uh, spatial audio support with head tracking, uh, which will eventually be supported by the Pixel Buds Pro. Um, You can stream messages from the phone to Chrome OS. Uh, You can set the language per app, which is pretty cool. A redesigned media media player, uh, Bluetooth LE support, uh, palm rejection for stylus on tablets, uh, and improve multitasking for tablets. Uh, so this is all very exciting in the launch of Android 13, but Pixel 6 owners, a little bit of a warning for you. Dun, dun, After you dun. flash to Android 13, you will not be able to flash older Android 12 builds anymore. So just be prepared. It yeah, it's very, I don't, and how they even do that, but yeah, so. You can never go back. Hmm. <laughs> Only forward. Just, <laughs> oh, okay. Actually, so I'm I'm reading. There's an update to Ron Amadio has an article on on Ars Technica about this. There's an update uh, where Ron says we have a justification as spotted by Esper's Michelle Rahman and you know uh, shout co- out yeah shout out to Michelle who's on this show once a month now. Uh, the Android Web Flash tool explains this downgrade prevention is to stop a bootloader vulnerability specific to Android 12. So there there's is. your reason. It's to protect yeah. you. Uh, <laughs> but still nice to know that up front. Cause if you like yeah. to, you know, t- dip your toe in the water and then go back, you know, you, you won't be able to do that here, but, um, yeah, kind of surprised. I was actually <laughs> pretty surprised to wake up yesterday and see that, uh, that they actually just like went for Dropped it. Dropped it. Is yeah. this, is this Google getting like uh, having an improved process on beta, or does this really not mean that much? I mean, they did start the process a little earlier um, in the year compared to last year uh, and the years before. So like, does it, does it matter that it's earlier? It's just kind of no, like sometimes I, it works this fast, right? I, I, I think, I think it also has to do with what the, the beta tracks, like they were just ready. Yeah. Right. So right. Why, why sit on it if you're ready? Right. Like if there was a big problem, and they needed a couple more weeks. I'm sure they would have pushed it. But like, especially if you go back uh, on the Android blog and the, the the developer blog, they they gave the timeline, and there were these vague kind of green lines of the phases, and you didn't get a sense of how long each phase was. If the you know if the if the you know if the if this if the cake is cooked, take it out of the oven. Right. I don't know. <laughs> does does releasing the beta in August set Google up for anything that they didn't have uh, before. Like, I guess where my mind is headed is sometimes the timing of kind of their hardware announcement in October always feels a little late for me. Does this, Mm -hmm. like, could this possibly be like a, I mean, maybe that's, maybe that's too narrow of a focus. Maybe they actually don't think about their Android versions as tightly integrated with their hardware announcement, but would this maybe allow their hardware announcement to be earlier as well? I don't know. But Jason, they did that last year with the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. It was so tied to Material U and the new OS. That's why, that's why it launched in October. Yeah, uh, yeah. So true. is this is this is this just like a every action gets an equal and opposite reaction? Like they, <laughs> they they rolled it out in October, so now they're going super early. 
They're uh, gonna the same week as Apple's big, you know, a fall hardware announcement will be the yeah. Pixel announcement. You heard it here first. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we're moving forward. Let's let's compete. Uh, what do you think, Andrew? Have you spent much time on Android 13? I have to imagine uh, your team has has looked at this uh, to some degree. What are your thoughts? Our phone, <clears throat> excuse me, our phone is an Android 13 phone, actually. There you um, go. Nice. <laughs> but but I haven't, you know, the, the Android 13 specific stuff. Um, I haven't really had a chance, you know, to, to play with. The big thing is like the pixel, like the pixel theme, like I had a pixel six pro and then I opted for the uh, galaxy S 22 ultra instead. Um, but you know, like the, the new theme, I think, it, I think that was Android 12 with kind of like the rounder accents and stuff like that. Like, yeah. I really like that. I really like that theme. And that's kind of like, bubblier. that's baked into AOSP in, in Android 13. And it just looks really nice. So like all, you know, more phones than just the pixels could have that pixely look now yeah oh that's interesting right because like the samsung doesn't right like the oh samsung no Sa like, yeah samsung's like no we got our own yeah. thing going on thank yeah, you very yeah. much yeah <laughs> yeah what do you think when is this a is this a day that you like were you surprised by this and yeah um, what do you think about it yeah i've 15? never regretted not having a pixel phone so much like i've, <laughs> I've tried to be a little bit more you know like i like i said i've always bought a pixel phone because Dev stock Android, but yeah. I have to admit, like uh, the and I have really been enjoying the Samsung Z Fold three. I'm sorry, I I like the Samsung. I appreciate One UI, but yeah, like the definitely not having you know the beta and like having to wait for like the One UI five beta and like not having my Pixel ready now for this has been very surprising. This is like the first year I've been like not ready for like the release, and I think it's very interesting. Um, and I really wish I need to find like a Pixel. F I think I have my Pixel Five somewhere. Maybe my husband there, stole it. But as a, yeah, as a developer, is there is there stress related to this moment? Always. Um, I, I mean, yeah. Like if you're not ready, <laughs> if you're not ready. Yeah. It, it yeah. really depends on the app and what features. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, like for us, well, my old team. Sorry, not us anymore. My old team. We'd always try to kind of get ahead. I think usually when the first beta would drop, we'd start testing and testing and testing and see if there's anything that was like mission critical, whether it's maybe, I think like the last thing I remember kind of being an issue was like work manager, which is like a background uh, work scheduler. And that was like the last thing where we were like, oh, sh we got to spend like several weeks, like making sure that this is up to speed and like that we're properly updated. Um, but normally it's okay. It can be okay. Like it kind of just depends on what you're using uh, and how much Google has messed with it. But yeah, you always want to make sure that you're ready way before this happens. I think usually like for us and like Andrew, like pipe in any time, like we kind of basically do a one pass, like a first pass on the, the first beta. And if anything that's like super critical seeming or that seems like it could be a problem, we basically just throw it right on like the plate immediately and try to get ready. Um, since we, again, we don't know like when this is happening and, you know, a difference of like a month or two is kind of bad if, you know, if, if things aren't, if, if you aren't prepared. So mm -hmm. yes, I don't know. Andrew, any stressful, yeah. like any particularly stressful uh, <laughs> releases for you? No, no. I was just thinking though, like as, as like an Android development team, you sort of just learn like, oh, the, the new beta is out. So let's get a device and have it installed. Right. Because like, like you say, like getting ahead of it, like six months in advance, uh, to try out your app, like, you know, Adobe has a lot of media centric apps and media APIs can change or like some of the, like graphics things can change and releases and stuff like that. So there are definite, there are definite fragmentation risks with like new OS versions. But yeah. like, I would say that most dev teams just, they kind of, they, you're, you're proactive. You're not going to, you're not going to wait around for the release. You're going to, you're going to use the beta. You're going to have a device and you're going to make sure that, you know, there's nothing terribly surprising. I got a quick question along those lines that just, uh, just popped up while you were talking, Andrew, um, because I, you know, I have been installing these betas pretty early on, even though I'm not a developer. So, but you know, Often, most more times than not, I take the risky maneuver of putting it on my daily driver just because like, oh, whatever. Like, what's the worst that, that, that could happen, right? If it doesn't work, you know, I, I can revert or whatever. And yes, it's a little painful, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, it hasn't hurt me that bad. But what I have noticed is every once in a while in those early versions, like, obviously, you're going to encounter apps that haven't 
like validated yet that haven't made the changes mm -hmm. for it to work, you know? So <laughs> I might try and launch it and it loads up the, the loading page and then it goes back to the home screen and like yeah. I can never it actually crashes. get into it. <laughs> and there's yeah. every once, and these are like apps, I'm not going to name names, but you know, it, there have been a few apps that this will happen beta after beta after beta. And then finally it gets fixed. What is the priority for a team when they know that there is a beta version of the OS out there and their app absolutely doesn't work on it? There's a number of people who still are using it the way I'm using it. And then just literally cannot use that app for however many months until until it's fixed. Yeah, we I had think, that happen. Sorry, no, go ahead, Andrew. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead, please. <clears throat> no, that, that I don't remember the specific feature, but this was like two or three years ago, and we definitely got a couple of very annoyed reports very early on. I want to say like this was like beta one within like a week or two, and a couple of people couldn't like load something or couldn't, like I think maybe it was like a new like API with Windows or something and something didn't work. And it's really, really hard to prioritize that. It generally depends on like how bad it is and how many people are doing it. So like, right. I think at the time, like, sorry, Jason, not everybody is like you. A yeah, lot of no, I realize that. <laughs> <laughs> we know, well, you're special, that goes not saying you're, when, but you're, yeah, like, yeah, you're, you're, no, you're not one of a kind, but you're very special. So oh, I think uh, I've, I've talked a lot on the show about like ROI. And when it comes to something like this, yeah. if it's something that we're getting like a couple people, it's like the first beta of like Android 13 or whatever insert version here. We generally have to say we're really sorry. Like we will support this by the time it comes out, but given that it's just been released, you you should probably like revert back or that we can't fix this right now. If it's kind of a little bit later and it's like really egregious or it's something that we know is going to trip us up, we'll, we'll probably uh, fast track it a little bit. Mm. But at this, I mean, I I've, we've usually been of the opinion that okay, we're really sorry. It's Android, blah 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 beta so use it your own yeah, risk and then right. we'll we'll yeah. try to do we, we try to like prioritize things that people are really having trouble with especially if it's something that's worth someone emailing us totally. and i think that was like the one time in like uh, seven i think like in seven years working at trello i think it happened maybe twice so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah i mean the pragmatic answer is that you know <clears throat> android updates roll out fairly slow uh, you know, it, you're usually just not getting that many users on the, the latest and greatest OS. And, yeah. and so, you know, you have to take an approach where it's like, yeah, you know, I think what, what's, what happened, what's happening is that you're self-identifying as a beta tester when you do that. Yeah. You're just yeah. Like, yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm going to beta test this. Right. Yes. Indeed. Yeah, so. Indeed. I know what I'm getting myself into. So when that happens, I don't get, you know, all frustrated and mad about it. I'm just kind of curious about it. I'm like, wow, you know, it's been three months. That app still doesn't launch. That's three months that I haven't used that app. But I'm sure they would want me to use it. I'm sure there are other people like me that want to use it, but we can't until it works. But that's what we sign up for, right? Like if we but, choose to get on the bandit train, yeah. we got to expect something like that. I will say though, it is valuable for if that to happen for you just to email your devs. Like the, it mm. is, it is good though. Like it's it's hard because we can't good fix point. it right away. Yeah. But at the same time, getting like we we do appreciate. Usually if it's polite, we appreciate it more, but we do appreciate getting a heads up on that. Because sometimes <laughs> yes. it, I mean, like tone just, helps, yeah. Yeah, to, tone <laughs> helps. But um, I think still it, it is helpful, especially again, because, you know, road mapping is hard, like trying to figure out the right timing is hard. So if we get early notice that, hey, like this specific thing is causing a serious issue, that is helpful. So definitely please, if you're a brave beta tester, definitely let your devs know in a polite way that things are not working, that they need to get on this sooner rather than later. So yeah, yeah, cool. 